why is this happening? Who thought this was a good idea? The popular Nickelodeon show Zoe 101 starring Jamie Lynn Spears is back. Hello. Hello. And it couldn't come at a worse time following the show's recent controversy. Let me explain to you why. Like and subscribe to the channel. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Let's get right into it. Who remembers Zoe 101, the super hit kids show on Nickelodeon that turned Britney Spears' sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, into an overnight sensation? This is a girl. Now, uh, I know that might confuse you since you've probably never been this close to one. Oh yeah? Yeah, your mom doesn't count. The series ran for four seasons and followed the story of a boarding school in Southern California. Well, it's back in the form of a movie. The return that nobody asked for, and this time it's for real. It's not like the last time when Jamie Lynn Spears created a scam reboot which saw her sell meet and greet passes and package deals for something Nickelodeon was not even linked to or had any idea of it going on. In recent months, the show has been causing a stir on the internet after its former producer Dan Schneider was thrown under the spotlight for abusing his power and mistreating child stars, <clears throat> young girls. So what's the thinking behind this reboot? Well, here's what we know so far. Zoe 102, because they, did, they just couldn't come up with a more original name than that, will be available on Paramount Plus, so we can expect a more grown-up version rather than the boarding school drama it once was. And I have to say, the branding for this movie at the moment is laughable. It seems cheap and rushed. It looks like someone's taken a picture off Google, slapped a bit of text on it and just shared it, you know? It doesn't seem like the high production value that we've known and you know remember from Zoe 101. It's too early to be sure yet, but it looks like a quick cash payout for the cast here and for Jamie Lynn Spears, obviously. It doesn't look like much thought has gone behind the revival and the story and the plot and the characters. The teaser reads, over a decade after the iconic series ended, Zoe Brooks is still trying to figure out life and love, this time in her 20s, which is funny because Jamie Lynn Spears is actually 32 now. Uh, the Pacific Coast Academy PCA gang returns to Malibu for an over-the-top wedding-turned-high school reunion for the books. So they're back for some wedding slash reunion. It's unsure whose wedding is at the moment. Is it Zoe and Chase? Is it someone else? It's not entirely clear yet. In terms of the cast, Zoe 102 will see the return of Jamie Lynn Spears, who is also back as the executive producer this time, uh, as well as Sean Flynn, who played love interest Chase Matthews. You've got Aaron Sanders back as Quinn, Zoe's former roommate. Christopher Macy and Matthew Underwood are obviously back as the lovable Math Michael and Logan. Abby Wilde is returning as Stacy, and Jack Salvatore Jr. is returning as Mark. So this is the juicy bit. Who is not returning? We've Well, at the moment, you've got Paul Butcher, who played Zoe's brother, Dustin. He's been quite vocal against Jamie Lynn Spears. So it's come as no surprise that he's not returning. Uh, and again, to nobody's surprise, Alexa Nicholas, who played Nicole, who's been quite vocal about the mistreatment of child stars and her horrific time on the set of Zoe 101 in recent months. So again, not surprising that she's not returning. Victoria Justice, who played Lola, will not be back. Uh, and the, the actress Kristen Herrera, I think it's pronounced, who played Dana, will not be returning either. One thing people will be pleased to know is that Dan Schneider will not be involved in anything to do with Zoe 102. The former executive producer has faced a number of horrific allegations against him by multiple stars from other shows he's produced. Alexa Nicholas has recently claimed that Dan Schneider allegedly used to pay child actors extra money to take photos of their feet. Yes, their feet. And if you actually watch back um, old episodes of Zoe 101, honestly, it's, it's quite disturbing uh, now that you watch it back with this sort of knowledge and these allegations and it all sort of clicks together. I have to say they are allegations, but it's creepy nonetheless. So the farther Dan Schneider stays away from this project, I think the better. I want to make a full video about Dan Schneider, but that's a whole other topic for another day. Let me know if you want to see something like that, because I'm more than happy to do it. In terms of my thoughts around Zoe 102, I think the demand for this show has always been there. So it's no surprise, especially in this era where we're seeing so many beloved shows returning. It's no surprise that a show that was so hugely successful like Zoe 101 
uh, during its original run is back for another go at it. And this time in terms of a movie, like I said, I'm not a fan of the look and feel and the branding of the movie so far. It does seem like a quick, a quick cash payout for uh, the cast here. But, you know, it's back. It'll be fun and interesting to see them play 20-year-olds when most of them are in their 30s now. So that's something interesting to look forward to. I'm so glad that Dan Schneider is nowhere near this project. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the return of Zoe 101? This reboot, the revival, do you think it's going to be a success? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.